So I'm going to attempt to make some uh, a chalk mix today while my birds are flying around. They always like to come by and steal the food before I get it all ready. So let's see what happens. But I wanted to show you this recipe as well. <laughs> so, oh, I hear one flying. And so this um, chop mix is going to be a Brussels sprouts. I've already chopped them up into little pieces. Where are they? Yeah, so I got all my supplies over there. And I'm gonna put that into the chopper. I have a bird on my shoulder. He's coming down. Let's see what kind of food they all steal. So I'm using carrot. This is um, one carrot and um, three Brussels sprouts. I am going to cut up some broccoli. I'm not going to use the whole thing because I'm just making a week's worth right now. So I cut these into smaller pieces as well. Because if we put the whole piece in there, there we go. It just won't, um, sometimes it won't cut. Alright, there is Malibu. Hopefully you can see him. <laughs> He's come down to eat some broccoli. What are you doing, Malibu? Are you gonna help mommy? Alright, so I chopped some of that out. Let's see what else we're gonna do today. Today I am going to be adding zucchini. I'm just going to actually chop this in half, put the other half away for now. Okay, I'm going to put this into the blender, chopper, whatever you like to call it. Oh. Oh. I'm surprised energy is in here. He's the one that comes over and he'll take a big chunk of food and fly away with it. Alright, I'm just going to pulse it a few times. Nice. All right, Kingsley's on my shoulder. Now they're probably all going to sit there and eat it. There's Kingsley. I'm going to be adding, oh, this is huge, <laughs> some cauliflower. This is a real big piece. All right, so this is so big, I'm not going to put the whole thing there. I'm going to take a couple of chunks of it. You like that? Kingsley really likes cauliflower, as you can see. Oh, and there's synergy. And I'm going to be adding some golden beets. I used to use the red beets, but uh, we just made all the food red. The birds didn't seem to want to eat it too much. And I didn't like looking at all the food bread. So this doesn't really change the color of the food. I mean, I really like it. I'll probably add, no, I'm gonna add two. I'm gonna put that in the blender and then they're probably all gonna fly away. Cauliflower and golden beets. Alright, I'm digging into it here. <laughs> so now I'm going to add some purple cabbage, just a little bit of purple cabbage, and um, it's a red bell pepper. And if you feed your birds red bell peppers, you can feed them the seeds. Especially Synergy loves these seeds. They birds will they can eat the seeds and they love them. Synergy, would you like some seeds? Here's all the seeds for you. Want some seeds? I'm 
going to give it a spin. So there's bell pepper and red cabbage. Now it's a little bit wet, so I might put it in the strainer just so I don't get the whole chop mix wet. And then I'm gonna add some uh, basil. This is a herb, it smells really nice. Just gonna break it up with my hand and some of the leaves from the, look at this, the golden beet, which Kingsley really likes. And some curled parsley. Oh, you like that, don't you? Yes. So what I do with it, I just kind of just break it up with my fingers. I don't put it through the um, the blender as it'll just get all like mushy. And then I'll you know stir it up, I'll cut it into the smaller pieces and then um, just stir it all up. They really like it. All right, you like this, don't you? And you like this too. Uh-huh. break it up even smaller than that. They really love the stems of the curly parsley. So you can leave those in. I like to leave them longer because I like to hold them in my feet. So I drained out the uh, bell pepper whoops, with the cabbage and I put it on paper towel just to soak up some of the, um, the wetness. I soak it up like twice so that it's just not so wet So I don't really want wet um, chop. Doesn't it look delicious? So what I do as well, that's the chop mix like of all the vegetables. I will be adding like sprouts to it. There's um, you know beans and um, seeds and grains I have to make a new batch and then I add the fruit and I add some microgreens and even give them more different greens and I mix it all together um, when I feed them in their bowl you like that huh they really love the sprouts you can sprout any seed even your bird seed you can you can sprout that it sprouts are much better than the dry seed So I don't really mix the two together, I keep it separate and then just mix it in their bowl. Look at him go. Yum yums.